when he was like two, I took him up uh, Pinnacle over there, which uh, resulted in me carrying him about 50% of the way. Dude, it was a haul, man. A real haul. This is normal Saturday. I usually try to get some road work in or uh, uh, spend a little time kind of going outdoors, you know. Fly camps get super hectic. You know, I kind of overstress about them a lot of times. So it's nice to kind of just get outside, relax with the family, kind of take my mind off the flight and just chill a little bit, you know. Yeah, all this here was flooded. Where all that brown is, like that was covered. About a month or so ago, we had that big flood and all of this here was covered in water. Like uh, it was so bad that our, uh, our gym uh, was flooded, like uh, it was right up to our door, so there was no way to get in the parking lot. I actually, uh, my friend Zach let me borrow his canoe, and we canoed up to the gym, got all my equipment out, and I cross-trained for that week, you know, just so we could uh, stay busy training. This is a nice little uh, shorter hike than Pinnacle. I like to bring my son up here and my dog. Growing up here in Arkansas, like, I spent a lot of time as a child, like, out in the woods, full of riding, fishing, hunting, you know, like, I, I didn't spend a lot of time inside, you know. As soon as I got home from school, I was grabbing my fishing pole, you know, and heading out. Just kind of disconnect for a little bit, man. I think uh, it's nice to kind of get out here and relax and chill and just kind of slow down for a minute, you know. So, uh, I'm sure Arkansas gets, like, a bad rep, you know, I've heard a lot of different things, but... Man, to me, man, this, this place is beautiful, you know. It's all what you want. Like, if you enjoy the outdoors, man, Arkansas is beautiful. Throughout my career, I've had plenty of options to, to go train at uh, uh, bigger camps or go to different states and, and, and uh, try different training camps. But as you see, you know, my son back there, that's my number one responsibility. Like, there's my son, then there's fighting and everything else. And, and also, man, I, I believe in our program here at Westside, you know. We have it here in Arkansas, just people just don't know it yet. I take a sense of pride in myself, uh, being homegrown, as you say, man, because, you know, to be a, just a small town kid from Arkansas, to, to make it on this the biggest stage of UFC, man, it's uh, it's huge for me. And it, I hope it opens the door for some of these other Arkansas fighters, because I've seen a lot of great talent come out of Arkansas, you know, and, and also just open the eyes to show them that, man, we can do it here in Arkansas, man, and it's possible. And, you know, if you're willing to put in the work, you know, we can do it. We're headed to uh, the float spa. Uh, they offer cryotherapy, massages, float tanks. I'm going there now to get some cryotherapy, man. This has been a, a rough week. My coaches get on me, man. They're worried I'm overtraining, man, but I, I get in about two or three sessions today. Uh, with that being said, man, it's really important uh, I focus on my recovery so that I'm able to go the next day and I'm not beating my body down so bad that I can't train. The cryotherapy really helps with recovery. Like, I believe in this. Like, uh, I do a lot of things for recovery, but cryotherapy works, man. Like, um, well, I'll tell you this. Um, ever since I went to Float Spa, I'm on a five-fight win streak. You know that ever since y'all started sponsoring me, I've not lost a fight. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, boxing, kickboxing, yeah. MMA, I've won everything. So, uh, it's my good luck, Sean. We're proud of TJ, man. I mean, we're excited about what he has to offer, and uh, we're, we're excited for his future. I mean, um, I think he's, he's definitely going to be out there, and he's going to show him what he's done. Man, it, it, about the first 30 seconds kind of sucks, like the little adjustment period, but I kind of use it as like a like mental strengthening session, you know? I just try to find my breath Keep and get in there and relax in the cold, so yeah. Easy work, easy work. Yeah, my brother was in here like. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm getting uh, wrapped up. I'm about to teach MMA class. I'm gonna train with them a little bit. Um, so I'm wrapping my hands up. We got a kickboxing class just finishing up. Uh, open mat, uh, uh, jujitsu, man. You can see, man, this is a happening spot here on a Saturday morning. So we just actually started our MMA classes uh, a couple years ago. I actually started that program. 
Um, before we were just doing like kickboxing classes, jujitsu classes, and uh, the MMA really ties everything together. And hey guys, if you do an MMA class, grab your MMA gloves. TJ's worked here for a while, and uh, he, he's been here eight years, and he speaks the same language we do. So it's, you know, it makes sense to have him teaching as well. That way we're all on the same page. You know, Bryce Mitchell's one of the, the coaches here as well. So we kind of have, like, the coaching slash MMA team. I love coming down here in the cross town and west side. When we got big fights come up, especially me and TJ, we will always connect with each other. He whooped me. That's how we met. He beat me in a fight, MMA fight. And after that, we just came good friends. And, hey, I love him like a brother, man. I love him like he's one of my teammates. We know he's a top-notch pro, not just a um, top-notch pro, he's a world-class pro. He can go anywhere in the world and beat anybody. I believe that. That's why they're gonna be like, man, contract signing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't got nobody beating him. Especially at 145 pounds. We're gonna start out this first drill. We're just gonna go in one for one with jabs. One, two, three. He's been doing this for eight straight consistent years. Professional boxing, professional kickboxing. And of course, you know, he's got 29 MMA fights. So at this point now, for him to, to, to get the shot now, there's so much more depth to it right now. And so I really think it's ideal that he's breaking in now rather than earlier. Don't stay there. Throw it in. Take your hand. Yeah. You need to be okay with movement. Being okay to flow with the movement and, and drown your opponent. So, we're gonna look at some ways you can chain things together from the front lock position. And look, this is why they love them so much. A lot of people will make it out of their gym and say, oh, I gotta leave, they ain't good enough for me. Why? You made it there. Why you didn't trust them? That's why everybody love Bryce and everybody love TJ. The people who got him there, they stuck with him. So everybody love all the Arkansas guys that's making it to the big stage. And we got some more that's on the way. Let's spend one minute grappling with your partner. In one minute, when you hear the buzzer go off, you're gonna run to the bag, start working the bag. You know, when I walked in today, man, you, you feel the, I feel the love, you know, nothing but good vibes here, man. Uh, I know when I go walk in that cage, man, I got a whole city behind me. You know, I can't, I can't tell you how important it is, you know, everybody from Arkansas has, has ended up coming into my camp and, and, and helped me get ready for this, this fight, man. And, and you got that, yo, the old man. It's just, uh, I'm ready for it to be here, man. I'm ready to eat some good food and uh, whoop some butt come uh, August 27th. West side on me, west side on three. One, two, three, west side! 